tagging in school, I think, writing on the walls and shit, and then suddenly this guy's got a tag and that guy's got a tag, and then next thing you know, you're painting. It's going down to Bunnings and fucking putting as much as you can in your bag and running out and spraying everything you can, just having fun. Just love it. <laughs> love the thrill, love the excitement. There's probably about 10 of us, same crew. When someone actually has some paint, you like get together and go down the tracks and shit. And they sort of like panels running. If I sketch a shitload, so I spend heaps of time on my own work, but you just don't end up painting it up, you know? I end up getting paint. All I want to do is throw up my tag, put up my word, and get seen. I don't have enough paint to put up, and there's nowhere to fucking do it, you know? You sit in your book, you make something mad, and where the fuck are you supposed to put it? Like, there's walls everywhere, you can go drop a tag, drop a hit, but you can't put up a character and put up a fucking piece. I work at the Youth Centre in Redford, which is located at Hugo and Vine, known as the Block, or the Redfern Community Centre downstairs, level one. I've been working with young people for about nine years now. Initially, our thing is about literacy and helping young disadvantaged kids get educational resilience, alternative forms of education using music, particularly hip hop, and, and any type of street culture. The six elements that make up hip hop MCing, uh, rap and rhyme and freestyle, and that is breakdancing, beatboxing, DJing, and aerosol art, graffiti. You put forward the idea that you're going to work with young people, that is, disadvantaged young people using uh, the hip hop movement. There seems to be an instant engagement that has a strong connection to young disadvantaged people, young people who feel that they've been disengaged from not just society, but school and even from family in some cases. For the young person themselves, it gives them something to do, it gives them a voice, it gives them a, a sense that they have a, a, a meaning and a, and a belonging. Main Street Art Project came into being when the Director of Bathurst Regional Art Gallery, Net Balog, got to talking about what a great project it would be to bring to a regional gallery and tour around the country. Mays Lane is, is in St Peter's, Sydney. Tuki Balog runs a business on the side of the lane. There was a lot of tagging going on in the laneway and Tuki thought that this could be a great thing to encourage street artists to come and work there in a safe environment. He was putting up these panels, inviting crews and artists from around New South Wales, Australia and internationally to come and paint on these panels. They have a week to paint them and then he'd leave them on exhibition for a month in the laneway. And then he would take the panels down and start again. So he actually has built up an incredible collection of well over 100 of these large scale panels that feature artists from a really wide range of backgrounds.